All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's K. So this is on uh, 17th September, and this is on Friday night. So this is a recorded video, and on this video, I decided to talk about my position right now that I'm holding, and also talk about my entry strategy, and also strategy over the weekend. So let's get started. So let me squeeze my face. Okay, so, so before starting here, just, just a quick disclaimer as usual. This information today is basically based on my own understanding and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risks. So uh, yeah, so I may, as I mentioned before, uh, this video is recorded on 17th of September. And right now this is at 6.51 p.m in UTC time zone. So uh, yeah, so right now Dubai time, it's it's 10.51 uh, p.m. right now. And since today, I had a big day. Uh, I woke up early in the morning, so most likely I will be going to bed in about one hour or two hours maybe. So, uh, but before doing that, I decided to capture a quick video in public so that uh, I can explain my positions because it has been requests on the YouTube comments and also emails that please please upload update some your positions and talk about my entries and exits so usually on the live streams I talk about the market overall with the news and also I, I uh, reply to these comments on the chat but on this specific video, let me talk about my position right now. So yeah, let's get started. So let me open the MT5 over here. So, so this is data sys run, and this is in the flower chart. So right now I'm holding positions and I'm following this flower chart uptrend. So here's flower chart, and you can see that the, uh, the Kumo Senko Span B is up, and Senko Span A is up, and Kijun Sen is up, and Tenkan Sen is also moving up, and Chikou Span all the way above the candles. So, and since this is Friday, um, we have to think about whether we close the position or not. And in this particular case, I won't close it yet, because uh, this is still uptrend, so there is no reason to exit in this case, simply speaking. So, but one thing is that if there's a resistance level here in the previous, previous charts, then I might exit. So in that sense, let me switch to the daily chart and you can see that there is no resistance level. The most recent resistance level, the previous high was marked here, which is all the way above the current position, current market level. So there's no reason to exit in that sense. So simply I will most likely I'll keep holding the position and try the profits along the way. Of course, there might be some ups and downs along the way. So uh, if there's a huge, huge downtrend or a reversal, then simply I will exit maybe sometime next week. But uh, for now, I decide to keep holding it over the weekend. And that's one of the reasons and actually there are some other reasons why I keep holding this position. So uh, let me explain these ones too. So let me go down to the five minute chart. And of course, in the middle time frame, let's see one hour chart is up also, and 30 is also up now. So this is a nice uptrend market right now. So with that in mind, let me switch to the five minute chart. And here's five. And on this red vertical line is exactly where I entered the position. But the chart is now beautifully uptrend right now. So let's see. Yeah, so the chart is now beautifully uptrend. And this is where I exactly entered the trade. And uh, the reason why I took the buy here is because first of all, oops, sorry. Sorry, the pop-up keeps popping up. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, the reason is because one is there was the higher time frame, like I mentioned, forward chart 
was uptrend, and also one hour chart was uptrend. So that's the primary condition of the bullishness. And also, when I look down on this five minute chart, I got multiple confirmations. And one is Bollinger Bands was squeezing. So Bollinger Bands squeeze, and once it expands, it tends to go towards the major direction, which is up uptrend in this case. And that's why I decided to take a buy here. And that's one of the reasons. And other reason is that I used stochastics and the stochastics showing gold cross and that was my second reason and actually I got other some other reasons and another reason is that let me zoom in the zoom in the chart and if you see here the candlestick hold on if I if you can see the candlestick formations here um, this uh, there was engulfing. So this uh, bearish candlestick has been engulfing the future one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine candles. And on the tenth candle here was a breakout. And I waited for the candle close, like I mentioned on yesterday's live stream on Friday. Uh, I, like, like I mentioned here, it was. The, the market broke upwards in five on this engulfing on this resistance level has been technically broken upwards on this candlestick and after I confirm it on the next candlestick I decided to buy so I specifically pinpoint when exactly enter the trade so so that I so that the the probability for the market to reverse can be a bit less in probability so these are the multiple reasons why I took a buy here and and so yeah my original stop loss was below the previous slow which was here and I I was taking 18 pips of uh, stop loss to from the positions and after the market went upwards I move it to break even and so since then the market has been going up the market has been going up right now and these are my stop loss levels so right now i'm it's the market's running the uh the pro the market's running the pips of uh hold on let me turn it to the pips okay so it's running 43 pips on these two positions so and as, I, as the market goes up this way in 5 minute chart or in 50 minute chart, I trail the profits. So initially, my stop losses were here at the break even, like this. And as the market goes up and up like this, so when I see, when I see the first pushback, sorry here, when I see the first pushback, I move these stop losses to here. And when I see the next pushback, I move it to the second previous low, like this way. And in this way, I keep trading the profits in five minute chart in this case. And there are times when I trade the profits in one hour chart or even 50 minute chart or some other you know, different uh, time frames. But uh, in this particular case, I trade the profits with one of the positions with the five and other one with the one hour chart. And I moved these two positions stop losses here and so that when the market reverses backwards from here, if the market reverses backwards from here for some reason, then um, I will still fix profit here of, uh, of uh, 33 pips and I close these two positions. But uh, if the market still goes up this way, then of course I would keep trading the profits and most likely it breaks the resistance level and goes up because higher time frames are still uptrending. So if this is uh, during the week, then I will keep holding these two positions and go to bed. But since this is Friday, 
uh, the question is whether we keep holding these positions or we just close it and come back chart on Monday. So um, my thought here is that I keep holding these two positions. So once again, this is now turning to 11 p.m. now and I most likely I will be going to bed in about one hour. So we have, I have one hour and in, within one hour, in five minute chart forms 12 candles. And within 12 candles, the market might break the resistance level upwards. So I'm talking about uh, this resistance level. The market might break the resistance upwards because I can see that this is ascending P wave. It's ascending P wave shape. And since higher time frames are still uptrending and there is no resistance level up here, most likely market will break upwards. And if it breaks upwards, then uh, I, of course, I want to keep trading the profits. And if it does, if the market breaks upwards, then most likely I will move these stop losses as tight as possible, which is here and go to bed. And if the market reverses backwards on Monday, then simply I will exit here. Or um, if, if the spread gets higher on Monday, open at the New Zealand session, then uh, simply I will exit these positions over there and fix the profit as much as possible. But, uh, you know, sometimes market, you know, keeps going up without hitting the stop losses after Monday opens. And if that's the case, there's no reason to exit. I just keep holding these positions over the weekend and Monday and onwards. So, uh, and even the market re re retraces backwards here in this way, <clears throat> five, um, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really make any difference. Maybe it will be only like uh, five pips or six pips of difference and if that's the case, simply I will prefer to keep holding these positions with the stop losses fixed profits and keep holding it along the way. So yeah, let's see how it goes uh, for the next one hour. And if there is some new updates, then I will share it on Monday or Tuesday on the video or live stream. So this is basically how I think about the, these positions over the weekend. But uh, if you are still new to Forex or new to tra tradings in this kind of condition or before you go to bed, I recommend you to fix profit, just close it and go to bed and come back to the chart on Monday. Uh, because if you keep holding these positions over the weekend in psychology, you might think about these positions over Saturday and Sunday and uh, you might keep watching charts uh, although it's not moving and you might keep thinking about these positions over the weekend which is not really healthy you can't really rest in your brain so uh, if that's the case i recommend you to just exit and come back to charts on monday because on monday still if the market is still trending up you can also always look for the new opportunities so it's your choice, basically. Just see, it's your, it's your choice. But uh, for myself, in this particular condition, I keep holding it because of multiple reasons. One is, once again, the higher time frames are uptrending, and secondly, there is no resistance level in five, and also thirdly, there is a ascending P wave, and it's about to break. So, of course, it depends on the market condition. But uh, this is based on my own experience. So hopefully you learned something new from this video. And if you liked it, please press the like button. And oh, one quick announcement is that the, uh, according to the Global Trading School, GTS, uh, which starts on October, this is my hands-on teaching up to five members for three months. So it's going to be October, November, December, three months. and there will be only one seat available so far so if you are still interested to join the gts or if you want to see details please let me know by email and contact me on the below description and so that i can give you more details so 
Yeah, once again, thank you for watching the video. And I will see you on the next one. Until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Right? Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.